Howdy folks, Captain Wayne Davis. We've gotten some calls recently, some message, messages on uh, social media about our willow tail and our willow maker jig head and rigging it weedless. Uh, some people say it pulls off of the spring. Some people say that doesn't go in there right. I want to show folks uh, how we're doing it. This is a uh, 1 8 ounce willow maker jig head. And uh, we're coming out with this pretty soon. This is a prototype. We have a 1 16th currently and a weightless. But here we go. We've got a uh, turtle grass willow tail. All you have to do on the spring, screw it straight into the nose, all the way to the top, real simple. Once you get it all the way to the top, let it balance where the hook is pointing towards the belly. At this point right here, you have to bend the lure and come in at a hot 90, come right out of the hook slot. You should be able to see coming out of the hook slot right about now. And it's going to rest right there. Right there in the hook slot. Let's do it one more time. Let me show you. Once you have it on there, the mistake people make, they put the hook in right here. That's not going to work because you're going to pull the plastic off of the spring. You have to compensate for this bend. So you bend it up. Where the point goes into the willow tail shad, you see this bend right here? That's where the bend is going to rest where the point went in. Just like that. So that's important because you want the play right up here. You don't want there's uh, much tension on the spring to pull it off of there. But again, let's do it one more time. So once you have it here, bend this lure up. Bend the lure up. Come in right there. Or that point, that's where the lure is going to rest, right there in the bend. It's going to come right out of the hook slot. Just like that, you're going to rest in there. Grass is going to be able to slide over this thing effortlessly. When the fish bites down on the on the lure, you got a lot of bite, a lot of bite in that hook. The fish nine times out of ten is going to get hooked in the uh, top left or top right hand corner of the mouth. If you have a big trout, you know what's going to happen. He's going to come flying out of the water. You're going to have a fight of your life. So we hope this helps in grassy situations. Uh, you got a shot at those fish because you're fishing a, a weedless bait. You can throw it a mile. It's got a lot of density to this plastic. So it's, it's, a, it's a great uh, addition to your arsenal when you're out here fishing in shallow water, grassy situations, looking for those big trout and redfish. Thanks a lot.